Welcome Sagittarius Capricorn to your mid-month reading for December. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new. Welcome, welcome. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with your mid-month. Straight in here. Get straight to your energy of what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. Such cap. No oh, gosh. Oh good good lord. Okay, somebody is guilty around you. Either you're guilty of something or somebody is guilty around you. Take it how it's gonna resonate. <clears throat> it actually feels like somebody else's energy though. It could be your own. But is guilty of unfaithfulness, ungrateful, unfaithful, guilty, guilty. Getting straight into the situation, situation is taking place around the whole reading as the universe. It's going to make this huge change. It's going to change the chapter. It's going to change the path you're on. Um, this guilty um, person or yourself or however it is. Um, take it how it resonates is going to change everything. Okay. Could also be that you know that they're guilty and you're going to give them the cold shoulder or vice versa. Okay. So getting straight into the situation. Situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. Do you know what? I'm going to use these cards, I think. I don't know. They're just screaming at me. Use me! Okay. Whoa. Okay. Deception and envy coming out. Same as the seven of <clears throat> swords over here. seven of wands, however. Positive movement forward in the recent past and the near future is awareness, not being 100% aware of the situation. Your awareness will change after this reading. Um, not 100% aware of what is 100% going on. Um, you do know that they are guilty of deception and envy. Um, it just feels like you're not, don't have the 100% clear picture of the awareness of what's really going on um but it is also a magician card so you will find that awareness deep within yourself as soon as you <clears throat> open up your intuition and really start using discernment about the situation and we'll get the clarity right now anyways so with the positive movement forward, it feels like everything's going great. It looks like there could have been a lot of travel. There was a lot of things going on. I see a lot of travel. You could have been traveling back and forth to see this person, but you didn't feel like you had a positive movement forward with this person. It's definitely a person. Could be, I mean, it could be a job, right? Could be. For those of you who say it's not a person, it's definitely a job. Take it how it resonates. Um, it's like you're holding tight. You're in control of the situation at hand. So that's a very good thing. In the recent past, you felt like you were the one that was in control. Um, yes, and a lot of travel, page of wands, talking about a lot of travel. Um, that is an area Sagittarius, so it is talking about you having a lot of travel, having this positive movement forward within this career or this person. Um, but it did feel like there was a lot of control, um, but there was a lot of indecisive movement. You could be dealing with an Aries also. Or a Capricorn doesn't have to be, but um, another, right? For now, it looks like your person could be an Aries. Um, but however it is, it felt like there was a lot of indecisiveness between them, but you were trying to keep the peace and the harmony going. Um, and it felt like you were waiting for the person, perfect timing for them to really, it feels like a love relationship <clears throat> for most of you. Like I said, if it's work, then that's fine. Um, but really, it's like I'm patiently waiting for you to give me 
what I'm traveling at. If you're traveling at them at full sport, uh, you know, full force over here, really taking control of the situation. It's almost like they're very decisive about the peace, the harmony, the, the situation, right? So, but it's like, okay, within the perfect timing, I feel like you won't be indecisive towards me. I'm holding tight to this uh, relationship, no matter what it is. And it just feels like they're kind of wishy-washy all over the place. But then you have this deception and envy coming up. Like I said, whether that's you or them, um, okay, but they are guilty. I'm going to say it's them for now. They are guilty of being unfaithful with the deception and envy. They are hiding something from you, okay? Deception and envy, they're either very envious of you being able to travel all over the place and having a lot of money or something, right? Or they're definitely hiding something, so we're going to figure that out. But they are definitely guilty. But this is going to take, this card here is going to be the main factor of why this whole relationship, why this whole job, why this whole, whatever it is, is going to change your whole life around. Because you're going to say, fine, then I'm going to cold shoulder you and it's, and it's going to be over. You're going to find a new path. It is. It's going to change everything, the world. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification that it is definitely, this is going to change the whole relationship around. And, oh, there it is, unfaithful. And definitely could be dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, a Aries, or another Sagittarius, or another Capricorn, okay? Got so many cards up here. You are finding out that they're unfaithful to you. Cheating, cheating, cheating. Giving their love somewhere else. They're hiding. They're wearing a false mask. You're giving out all this passion and all this love while well, they're, it looks like cheating. I could say ungrateful, right? I could say ungrateful. You could feel that. You could say they're very ungrateful, but I do see cheating, sorry. I'm just telling you what I hear and this is gonna make the tower fall, but it's not gonna fall right away. Why? Because you're not 100% aware of the whole situation. You may be thinking it's ungrateful. No, they're just ungrateful. No, listen, I got two cards over here of infidelity. Two, you can't, it's, it's, it's impossible. Cheating, cheating, right? With the tower over here, it's saying, yeah, they're gonna make the tower fall. They're wearing a false mask. You're going to figure this out. You're not who you think they are, right? The reason that they're indecisive about what you thought it was isn't because it's because it's not what you think it is, right? They're indecisive. You're saying, I want to keep the peace and harmony. And I believe that in perfect timing, you're going to travel towards me the way I'm traveling towards you. With the tower over here, it's saying, let it go. Because they don't really have you. They didn't really, they don't really have you. They don't think of you as theirs. So it's kind of a bailout. As you're moving passionately towards them, they're kind of on a bailout. They're kind of, uh, might even be overreacting. You might call them out on it and they're going to overreact. Go into denial mode. That's because they're guilty. Or they might even tell you that, I think you're overbearing and a little overreacting. Um, and I think you're a little forceful over the relationship I wasn't really that close to begin with. Getting clear about what you need to do and being cool-headed with the action with the tower. Having other passions. Maybe they're passionate towards an Aries. Scorpio, Scorpio, Cancer could be passionate, giving their passion to an Aries, right? Page of coins, here you come. You're saying, but I'm still trying to support the situation because I'm not really clear about what's going on. I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. But now they're going to raise those hairs. Why are they going to raise the hairs, my friends? Because as soon as the overreaction comes, your, your Capricorn side is going to say, wait, hold on, What? It's going to raise suspicions.
you're going to continue to try to keep take them out, keep trying to take them out on dates, still trying to keep it going on. But the more they keep kind of either kind of bailing out or um, something overreacting, something of this nature, like I said, it's going to raise those, raise an eyebrow, right? Raise the suspicions with the star upside down. They don't see you as number one. Well, of course they don't see you as number one. They're cheaters. They could be players. The imprints, number three. Unless you see this as yourself, right? For cross watchers, you can say, this is Sag Cap doing this to me. Got it. Uh, the imprints, upside down. There's no nourishing the situation. I don't see you as my imprints. I can't give you the love that I want to give you because I don't see you as number one. Oh, cheating, three of cups. Come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. Hey. Okay. And then all of a sudden they're just going to kind of drop back. There's going to be like a drop back, a drawback. They're going to kind of recluse themselves. Because all of a sudden you're going to realize that they're not where they're supposed to be. Because of the three of cups upside down. They're going to say, no, nah, I'm not really feeling it. And there's going to be this drawback. They're going to keep kind of drawing back from you. The way they're drawing back, it definitely could be a water sign. I, because everything I see here is kind of the hideout mode. Um, unless it's a Virgo, right? Because the only signs that really do that, my friends, and you know it, is water signs who are going to pull back like that and kind of hide out. Unless it's definitely a Virgo. Because then they'll go into that reclusive mode. Um, but definitely Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, always do the drawback. That's it. Kind of ghosting you. And that's exactly what it is. They're kind of, they're going to kind of ghost you. They're going to do this kind of like, I'm not texting anymore. I'm not talking anymore. They're kind of go silent. Um, the non-support is the stop, stop with the actions of the heart ghosting. They kind of feel like they're kind of ghosting you, not writing you when you should be writing you. Could be taking way longer than normal, but you're kind of like unaware. You're really unaware of the situation at hand of really why they're doing this. Well, the crazy thing is about this reading, <laughs> right, is I'm telling you why they're doing this, right? So you're saying, I'm unaware of why they're doing this. Well, I'm telling you right now, it's because they're freaking cheating. <laughs> That's why, right? So it's kind of crazy because it's kind of like if you weren't watching this tarot, it almost kind of feels like this is what would have happened, but because now I'm giving the answers, this can kind of almost like go away, right? Because you're going to say, right? Unless you're not taking it um, for what it is, right? I agree. I mean, it's tarot online. If you're not going to take it, it, you know, super, you never take anything 100% super serious, right? It's tarot online. It either resonates or it doesn't. And then sometimes we don't realize, you know what? I didn't watch that video the way I should have watched the video because I didn't believe it. I could never believe that that was going to happen. So I wasn't paying that much attention. So then I ended up over here not fully aware of the situation. But I'm going to tell you one thing. If it does end up resonating with you, it's going to be like a smack in the cheek, right? Only for the fact because you're going to be like, oh my God, it was right. I actually watched someone's tarot like that once. It actually kind of freaks me out though too. Okay, anyways. Yeah, because I went back like two months later and then I watched that and then I realized, oh my God, that did happen. It was so cool. <sighs> right? Anyway, so three of coins. So I never underestimated that tarot reader anymore. Okay, three of coins. Here we go. Yeah, because you're, you're not recognizing it for what it is. The cheating, three of coins. It's like you are going to take this reading, you're going to throw it away and say, eh, yeah, it was a great reading, but it isn't, I don't think that's going to happen. <sighs> It's going to throw you off balance for sure with the emperor over here. It's going to throw you right out of your throne when you realize, oh my God, that was for me. Okay. Then you're going to have this huge transformation. Well, there's that universe coming through because why you're going to transform in thought and then you're going to say, oh my God, now I'm completely aware of what it is because that's full awareness, transformation of full awareness. Saying, well, where my awareness wasn't there, I didn't want to take it at face value. Um, and it's all good. I get it. Shoot. Like I
like I just said, I already did that once. Then it blew me away. And that was before I even did tarot. I'm like, okay, guys, because, like, the kids were trying to show me, oh, this is what they do. And I was like, eh, right. <laughs> right? And then it's going to challenge your thoughts. And it's really going to challenge your thoughts. And that's really what it is. It's going to challenge and give you, challenging your thoughts, giving you heartache and disbelief and affliction. Because you thought that they were going to be the one. You thought that this was who you wanted to be with. You thought you had the love and the connection and the unity. You thought because you were being awfully generous and maybe they were even giving generosity back at a time until they ghosted you. Or just did a drawback. Not coming towards you as much. Right? But you're keeping the strength of, above you guys because you are very strong. Right? Now you're back to singlehood. But it's good, though, because you keep yourself at peace because you're just like, oh, well, here we go again. I'm going to move forward because another, hey, another relationship will come in. Why, guys? Why? Because there's more fish in the sea, right? There's not just a fish. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, there's definitely more Pisces in the sea. <laughs> okay. And, yes, now all of a sudden this text message comes in. It feels like it's from them, and they're trying to be, like, all calm and cool about the situation and determined to try to what? get you to recognize them. So they're actually coming back around. They want to show you satisfaction of what you want, but you're saying, no, you're a freaking liar. You're saying, no, I'm now aware that you're lying to me. Nope. Nope. I see right through your lies. Because now, all of a sudden, my awareness is open. My intuition is open. I understand what's exactly going on. And I'm making a judgment call for myself and allowing my own blessings to come on. They want to play victim over here and act like that never, that that was a lie and that I'm lying. Yeah, me lying. <laughs> Your terror is a liar. Yeah, this whole video is a lie. That's why it all resonated with you. Yeah. Good job. I'm sorry. I just totally heard that. I have to throw that out there because I just, spirits like, they think you're a liar. Really? Really? I'm a liar. Really? I didn't have the Queen of Pentacles upside down with the Three of Cups and the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles and the Deception and Envy. I'm not the one that ended up ghosting and then coming back. I'm not the one. See? Ah. I know I get all rough, right? My spirit gets like, oh my gosh. You know, if she could actually have some kind of sarcasm, I always give her sarcasm. I can only imagine she's like thinks I'm crazy, but if she had sarcasm, she'd be just like, you be quiet. <laughs> right? Of course she doesn't, but I like to give her a personality that she doesn't 100% have. I'm sure she just puts her hand on her head and just shakes it, right? How did I get stuck with this human? Anyways, gotta love her. Okay, so yeah. And you know, I don't it doesn't bother me. Won't be the first time. Right? Because then when she does do that or he does that, that's just going to give you more leeway of being like, wow. Yeah. You really are unfaithful. You really are guilty because you're trying to call out my terror reader. <laughs> yeah. When she already called all, she already called it all out. Oh, man. Okay, guys. Seriously, though, right? Because, yeah, I do. I see you're calling me a liar. It's all good. It's, it's, it's good. It comes with the territory. It's all good. Don't hurt my feelings. But, and seriously, you know, that's just going to, it is though, guys. It is. It's going to make them look more guilty. Especially if you brought that up and said, well, I've seen that in tarot, you know. <laughs> I've seen that with my, you know, my psychic, um, you know, however. But, yeah, all that's going to do is make you want to move even more into the universe. And it will. It will because it's it's one of those things and I, I personally believe it's true because if I seen this and then they try to tell me my psychic was wrong but yet I watched this video and then I went back and watched it again I'd be like dude you're so guilty now you're trying to blame it on someone else. Wow. Throwing other people under the bus for your your mistakes. And maybe they're not. Maybe they're throwing someone else under the bus. Maybe it's not me, right? But um, however it is, maybe they're even trying to throw it at you. Try to tell you you're crazy. Wow. Okay, guys. 
we'll see how that works out. This reading comes back up, we'll know um, how many people really 100% resonated with. But man, that's a lot of that's a lot of energy. So okay, keep the peace until Christmas. Peace and love. Bye bye.